The White House has announced a new ban on evictions, but all the details are not yet in, and Biden is saying some really weird things. So I'll get to all of that in a minute and exactly why this has happened. Hint, Cori Bush and her protest in front of the Capitol building. But before I get to all that, let me first give you some details here from uh, the Washington Post. They say here the congressional pressure campaign intensified in recent days after a national eviction moratorium created by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention expired at the end of July. The Biden administration has repeatedly insisted that it lacked the legal authority to renew that program. However, the Delta variant has renewed concerns about the impact of the expiring moratorium on millions of renters, leading House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other Democrats to push the administration to act unilaterally. The measure is expected to be announced by the CDC. Two people familiar with the matter said that officials have discussed extending the moratorium until October 3rd, although they cautioned that details may be subject to change. The new action is also expected to primarily protect renters in areas most hard hit by COVID-19, the people said. All the details of that provision were also unclear. The protection could be designed in a way so that it covered as much as 90% of the country, one of the people briefed on the matter said. Which has now been confirmed, that last piece there from Jeff Stein here, saying Schumer now confirms an email that eviction moratorium will cover 90% of the country last for 60 days. Schumer says, quote, I particularly applaud Cori Bush, more on that later, who he says gave voice to the millions at risk of eviction. So we'll get to the Cori Bush aspect in a second. But first, let's get to the weird things that Joe Biden is saying. So uh, first, we were expecting to get uh, the full announcement from the C CDC in about one to two hours. This as uh, or this from 4.51 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So we'll see shortly in a couple hours all the details of this eviction uh, uh, ban. But um, check out what Biden's been saying. Uh, and this, so right now there's a pre press conference going on where he's answering questions about this. He said uh, Biden has asked on the eviction moratorium again and says that the Supreme Court ruled the last eviction moratorium was unconstitutional. The Supreme Court did not. This is not a Supreme Court ruling. Joe Biden is, is making up Supreme Court rulings as a way to downplay the potential here for a further ban on evictions. Very weird behavior. And I mean, he did this a number of times throughout this press conference from uh, Tara uh, Golshan here again it says, by my count, Biden has now three times incorrectly said the court already ruled against the eviction moratorium that expired. He's already saying whatever the CDC will announce will likely get struck down. Quote, by the time it gets litigated, it will probably give some additional time. This is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I mean, the, the the attitude here is is crazy. But let's point this out: Democrats took millions from real estate interest before allowing eviction moratorium to end. This may speak to why Biden doesn't seem to really care about this whatsoever, and is even basically saying that it's going to be overturned by the Supreme Court like it has in the past, even though it hasn't. I. Uh, Biden is a disaster. I think that's clear uh, from the various stories I've done. But uh, yeah, completely nuts. Now, let's get to Cori Bush and why this is even a topic right now. Cori Bush, of course, been uh, has been on the Capitol steps for the past five days protesting. Jeff Stein here, co-author of that piece in The Washington Post, writing here, have to wonder if this happens without Representative Cori Bush staying for four nights on the steps of the U.S. Capitol. Of course, it would not be happening if it weren't for Cori Bush. And let me play a little clip here. Headline from CNN saying House Democrat sleeps on Capitol steps as she blasts lawmakers over expiring eviction moratorium. Here's a short clip of what Cori Bush has been saying over the past few days in front of the Capitol. When you sleep outside on the ground, you are um, open and you are vulnerable to all the elements. However, whatever those elements are, it was cold last night and now it's super hot. We've still been here. I still have on the same clothes I had on last night. I'm dirty. I'm, I, I'm dirty. I'm sticky. I'm sweaty. I still have on what I had on last night. This is how people will have to live if we don't do something. Seven million people, six million, 11 million, how many ever it is, they deserve their human dignity and they deserve for the people that are paid to represent them to show up and do the work to make sure that they have their basic needs met today. Incredible. None of this would be happening. This wouldn't be a story. There wouldn't be any discussion about this at all if it weren't for the fact that Cori Bush has been out there sleeping on the steps in front of the Capitol building. And by the way, Cori Bush has been homeless. I discussed this in her uh, run for uh, her seat in Missouri. Here is somebody who is a real working class fighter and has experienced the absolute worst that America has to offer. So you have here someone that that's had that experience, uh, understands how horrible it is, 
and brings that fight with her to Congress. And again, none of this will be happening without her. Let me uh, share this tweet that she put out after the uh, announcement, saying on Friday night, I came to the Capitol with my chair. I refused to accept that Congress could leave for vacation while 11 million people faced eviction. For five days, we've been out here demanding that our government acts to save lives. Today, our movement moved mountains. And some recognition here from others in Congress, including Ilhan Omar, who said, you get what you organized for. Thank you, Cory Bush, for leading on this. And Rashida Tlaib saying, Cory Bush, you showed us what is uh, what is possible. We are blessed to have you in Congress. This incredible work from Cory Bush, and I think is an example of what can be done in the future. The Progressive Caucus, of course, still has limited numbers in terms of um, being able to actually pass you know, what they want to pass. But you have both the ability to, to block bills, as they are doing currently, with the infrastructure package, they are refusing to vote yes on the infrastructure, uh, on the bipartisan infrastructure bill, unless the uh, budget reconciliation bill that has the actual progressive provisions that help people gets passed first. So they are using that strategy of blocking a bill. And here's another one, protesting in front of the Capitol building and bringing media attention to this issue. And as you saw, CNN's covered this, other networks, of course, have covered this as well. So it's been just a, a complete a showcase in how you use the media to spot to put a spotlight on issues when you lack the ability to pass the legislation yourself.